She's only just turned 23, but ex-Love Islander Molly May Haig is already sitting on her own, personal gold mine. The business savvy star, whose autobiography My Story, Becoming Molly May is out today, is a self-made millionaire with an estimated net worth of £6 million. Through a combination of hard work and shrewd moves, she turned herself into a one-woman brand, raking in the cash from companies keen to capitalize on her glamorous image. And it's an impressive feat for the once regular teen who flogged on in a series of distinctly unglamorous Saturday jobs in her hometown of Hitchin, Hertfordshire. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror newsletter here. Her first sniff of a paycheck came while working as a lifeguard at the local pool. Together with her sister Zoe, Molly rocked a snazzy yellow and red uniform and ate from plastic plates in the leisure center's staff room, a setting which she once told fans still gives her nightmares. Next it was onwards and upwards to Boots, where instead of working the tills and stacking shelves, mischievous Molly was often be found hiding in the loos. Sharing a throwback from 2017, Molly pouted for the camera while holding up a toilet roll in her work uniform. Here's me sat on the toilet. Hiding from shop floor, which I did most shift sex, she wrote. At one point, Molly even signed up to be a spin instructor, but told fans she felt underweight and on the wrong path. Uploading a shot of herself in exercise gear, she wrote, when I was training to be a spinning instructor. Underweight and on a path that wasn't right for me. But if these tales of common drudgery have you convinced that Molly was just your average Joe then think again, because behind the scenes, she was hustling like no other. She was just 16 when she was crowned Miss Teen Herefordshire and donated her prize money to a charity for childhood illnesses. With her fan base on the rise, that same year she landed her first ever paid Instagram post, earning £25 for a picture of her wearing a red jumper and black hair bow in her childhood bedroom. This was the first time I was ever paid by a brand to promote I was 16. I got paid £25 for a post, she once told fans, sharing the throwback. Twelve months later she was named World Teen Supermodel and found her calling as a bona fide influencer with more than 10,000 YouTube subscribers and 100,000 Instagram followers. She relocated to Manchester to grow her brand, and by the time she entered Love Island, she was already one of the show's top earners. Molly has her own self-dan company, Filter, which made £848,000 in profits last year, and is the creative director for Pretty Little Thing, a role that came with a rumored seven-figure salary. If you want the star to plug your wares to her 6 million followers, expect to pay anything up to £11,000, while a joint appearance by Molly and boyfriend Tommy Fury will set you back a sweet £10,000. And while she might have failed to bag the Love Island £50,000 winnings, coming in second place to Amber Gill and Greg O'Shea, that's pocket change to Molly, who recently bought her dream £4 million house with Tommy. But the jet-setting star says her success has come at a price, admitting she no longer sees her old teenage pals. I'm living in a different world now and a lot of my friends can't relate to that she said on the Diary of a CEO podcast. And even though I'm still the same person, my life and my circumstances, they're just so different that you do just naturally, people just fall off don't they? Meanwhile, Molly's road to the big bucks hasn't been without controversy. 
The star was recently dubbed the new Margaret Thatcher after declaring that we all have the same 24 hours in a day to achieve our dreams. You're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. You can literally go in any direction, she told the Diary of a CEO podcast. When I've spoken about that in the past I have been slammed a little bit, with people saying it's easy for you to say that because you've not grown up in poverty, so for you to sit there and say we all have the same 24 hours in a day is not correct. But, technically, what I'm saying is correct. We do. She continued, I understand we all have different backgrounds and were all raised in different ways and we do have different financial situations, but I think if you want something enough you can achieve it. It just depends on what lengths you want to go to get where you want to be in the future. And it'll go to any length. She added, I've worked my absolute AE off to get where I am now. Do you have a story to share? Email web features at trinitamirror.com.